They're not just thick, they're built different. Ka-chow! <laughs>
you know, we'll compare this McQueen in comparison to what Mattel did later down the line in a bit. But um, sleek, nice looking, a little ridiculous, but nice. All you just need him now to do is some wheelies, pop a few here and there. Um, he's kind of giving me Chick Hicks vibes with this painted in black. Anyone? No? Just me? All right. All right, so here's McQueen. And this guy is built different. I mean, he is thick from the bottom up. Uh, here is a standard Disney Store McQueen. This is the 2018 reissued version where it doesn't have a... It has like this matte finish for the base instead of the glossy, like the olden ones. The olden days ones, I guess you could say. Um, there's the engine. I did bring out this snot right to compare the engines. You can get a look right there. It looks quite similar. Not exact, but quite similar. But you get the idea. This is a silver and this is a plastic cheap gray. Uh, so as far as detail, I prefer this because I like that little shine it got to it on there. You know, like the little speckled, fleckled silver paint. It just looks good. Uh, the Hudson Hornet Piston Cup logo, obviously it's covered up by the engine right there. Um, he's got a different expression. I like that expression he's got on the uh, Hot Rodder one over here. Very determined looking. On the sides, it seems like everything... Well, the flames are darker on this one, on the reissued version. And uh, the rims are different as well, obviously. I mean, the tires are a lot thicker, I should say. And the rims are actually black now instead of gray. This back wheel is ginormous when you compare it to the regular one right here. Look at that. Thick. It's like it's like two of those. <laughs> so, does he have the Lightning McQueen signature? Yes, he does, but it's not the best. You can't really see it all that well. There you go. Mm. They're both crooked, but that's just Disney Store for you. They're not the best with the decals, unfortunately. They have really good cars. They look great. Nice concepts, but they really lack in that department of placing the decals on really well powered by all in all world grand prix it looks the same pretty much um just that over here these are like stickers or printed on and over here these are actual plastic inserts that are inside as separate pieces same goes for the front headlights right there they're not stickers ah stickers mcqueen you got rid of your stickers didn't ya sally got to ya or what <laughs> as soon as she said stickers you you were like headlights and I know in the movie, yeah, he got headlights, the second one. But it's cool that the fact that they incorporated it into the toys, at least Disney Store. Because, I mean, I'm looking at this one right now. And those are obviously just, not stickers, but it's just printed on, you know. Same goes for this. That's printed on. They're not stickers. This is all, no paper stickers at all. It's all printed on. Anywho, uh, I just love that detail. I really do. It looks great. Uh, the other side's pretty much the same as the other there's not much different although i am noticing that little hole right there so it has two gas caps i guess that's really weird and they're different sizes too mm. all right well that's enough for the lightning mcqueen there the world grand prix variation and now we're going to take a look at the chick hicks and this is one of my favorites i mean we hardly get any chick hicks merchandise there's hardly any love for this dude Honestly, one of the best characters in the franchise. And now here he's in all his glory. Featured as a hot rod drag racer of some sort. With these thick tires that are thicker than his whole body combined. And he just looks great. And this just looks ridiculously good. It's a little ridiculous, but it, it looks good. Look at that. And here's a normal Disney Star Chick Hicks. See, now that I have. And this is a reissued version because it's a, it's a pullback. But just look at that right there from the top to the bottom he is just different uh the fronts are very similar over here he has like an open mouth it's just not colored in i guess over here his mouth is fully closed the grill right here the mustache looks a little larger hmm maybe it's because he has his mouth open over here it's a little shorter i don't know there's the engine though nothing like mcqueen's nothing like snot rods this one's squared right there the little um the openings right there these are like circular and these are squared so th that's different already um, just the shape of the engine is different as well and i love how they put that little black detailing right there the fact that that's colored in it's great shows you the extra mile they didn't have to go to but they did i'm noticing all of the stickers on here I'm trying to see if anything or any one is missing 
No, all the mood springs, no stall, leak less. Everything seems to be on there except right here. Everything is missing. Hmm. You know, even as a kid, I always found it found, uh, funny how I don't think... I'm going based off of my memory here. Does He doesn't have Dynaco or Rusty's sponsored on here at all. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I always just found it funny as a kid. I would always be like, damn, he really hates McQueen and Chick. I mean, McQueen and Chick. <laughs> McQueen and the King that much? Makes sense. I don't see the sponsors. Do you? Hmm. I see every other sponsor. And a lot of them are printed on there more than once. Like, Mood Springs is over here. Mood Springs is over there. Yeah, this guy, instead of putting up the other two sponsors, he'd rather have them duplicated. Anyways, yeah, that's just a detail right there that's quite obvious. And he doesn't have those bars right there, the window bars. They're gone. Alright, so... I'm looking at the base now. Now you can tell how different those things are right there. Look at that. Built different. Now, wouldn't it have been nice if these were rubber tires? Oh, goodness me. Sign me up. <laughs> that would have been simply amazing. Look at that. I mean, he looks incredible. It just screams Chick Hicks character. It screams like he's like trying to show off. I mean, just look at him and McQueen side by side. Obviously, Chick is trying to beat McQueen in style here. I mean, look at that. Look at that. Pop a wheelie for us, man. Look at that. Sheesh. Fantastic. Look at that. Ah, McQueen ain't got nothing. Look at Chick, my boy here. Look at that. All right. Anyways, Fillmore here is a little disappointing. I'm not going to lie. And it's mainly because you can't really roll them around without the license plate just scraping on the table. Watch this. I'm going to show you guys right now. It's just scratching on the table. And the wheels, the front ones barely move. Hope you guys are seeing that. That's a, uh, that's a fail in my book. But as soon as you pop them on a wheelie though, which I'm going to show you right now with these two back things right here. Mm, now you got the problem of this scraping back here. It would have been nice if these two right here had the actual uh, physical plastic wheels. That way you could have rolled him at least in some way properly, but not the best design. Um, again, for Fillmore, don't have much to compare him to. I don't have a Disney Store Fillmore, so we're just going off of what he looks like here. Volkswagen licensing down there. And there you go, the whole drag racer look and the, the spoiler. And the, the rainbow right there. More, you know, it's just Fillmore at its finest. Alrighty, so... Now that we've taken a look at those, we're going to take a look now at the King. I'm quite excited for this one, so let's get to it. I'm going to put these off to the side. There we go. All right, we've taken a look at the packaging towards the beginning of the video, so let's just get to it. All right, thank goodness I brought scissors with me. Otherwise, I would have had to cut video. All right, there we go, and there we go. All right. Yeah, I talked about this in my last monthly unboxing. You can't really keep these packages. I mean, you can, but the acrylic cases were way better. Change my mind. I bet you can't. All right, let's see. What's up with this one? It's kind of stuck on there. I'm just going to come along with the scissors and snap it off. Much easier. And we're saving time. All right. These little pieces I'm gonna put off right there. Come on. All right, there we go. All right, and now these, huh. All right, I'm just gonna have to twist them out. There we go. For a second, I thought those were gonna be stuck on there permanently because I know a lot of toys that use these things, parents, they just snip it off like I did and they tend to leave them on there. And after that, it's, that's it. That's the end of the day. You just leave them on there because they're too short. You snap them too short and now you can't get out of the wheel. Which I think is what I just did right now. Oh, never mind. Got it. Alrighty. Well, <laughs> here's the king. Um, I don't have a Disney Store king either. I really wish I did. But yeah, I know he got reissued in 2018 with a Dynaco helicopter carrying case along with um, a Dynaco Chick Hicks and Dynaco McQueen. But we're going to 
you know, take a look at him despite not having uh, a Disney Store standard release. But here he is. Beautiful flat petty blue. The engine seems to be the same casting as Chicks, just that now the inside squares are painted in blue. I hope I'm right there. They seem very similar, the engines. I'm, I might be wrong. I definitely see... <laughs> see, I'm seeing on the camera right here. It looks so shiny. This one seems a little bit more matte. Like a matte finish. And then this one right here. Goodness me, it's just so shiny. It's like a chrome finish almost. It's a little crooked, it seems. There we go. You can fix that up there. It's, it's got a bit of wiggle room. Um, I just wonder, how do they see? Here's a point of view. Like, how do you see? Look, right now we're the king. How are you going to see, my man? You can't see like this. It's covering up your whole view. Look, here's an even closer point of view. Because that's as far as my camera can focus. But I don't... Yeah, that's covering up your eyesight, man. That's not a... It's not clever at all. No offense. Um, <laughs> look, your eyes are so tiny. It's covered up by the whole freaking block up here, the engine. Anyways, let's go ahead and zoom in on the king right here. There are his sponsors. Seems to be the same ones as always. Um, I hope I'm right there. Is Easy Out on Retread... I think, have those always been there for the standard king? No idea. Anyways, tires, a lot more poofy looking, a lot thicker on the rubber. Or, yeah, I mean, I would have wished these were actual rubber, but, and can't have everything. Uh, there's the Danico logo. I like how they barely squeezed it in right there. They could have used up all this other space right here. Put the O on the, on the cap right there. That would have been nice. One of the O's could have gone, yeah, on the gap. I mean, on the gas cap. But they didn't. Uh, spoiler is plastic, unfortunately. There's a 43 up the top right there. There's the back, Danico 43. And there's the bottom. These look great. It's like a bronze looking color that transitions into this, um, some sort of blue. Okay, that one's very nice. One of my favorites for sure. Um, let's put him off to the side and now we're going to take a look at the actual 3-pack. So the 3-pack right here is a very interesting one because it is themed out to look like for Chick Hicks. Well, at least on one side. Of course, you got to shove in McQueen somewhere. So there's the McQueen logo right there with the Disney Store logo. The bottom is blank. And then on the other side, you have uh, what seems to be a Ramon series. Low and slowed. Yeah. That's a, I mean, they should have put like some sort of image because I'm kind of confused. I would have thought, oh, this is the paint job Ramon used to make them this version of themselves, the drag racer versions. But no, it's saying also available the low and slow diecast car series, which I think it's just a five pack or a three pack, something like that. Anyways, let's get to the unboxing of these cars. I have no idea how I'm going to do this. Well, that's cracked open, but I don't want to cut myself. So I guess what I'm going to do is cut right here. Gotta be careful. Keep clear. We are doing an unboxing. All right, I think that could do it. Let's see if it did. Oh yeah, that did it. Oh, what, what in, what the hell? What is that? Huh? Uh, what? top right there that's that's messy glue work why is there a yeah, yeah like I, I i get it reuse reduce and recycle but could have flipped it to the other side where you didn't have to see this and that's the most random thing you party eight huh anyways i'll be right back i need a screwdriver clearly all righty got my screwdriver and i'm gonna go ahead and open these up I hate it when they use screwdrivers for this, or when I need a screwdriver for these cars, but I get it, you gotta protect them. You don't want kids stealing them. But then again, you're just leaving them the chance to steal the singles, but not the three packs. It would have been nice if for the 15th anniversary, 
they released a Gold McQueen at Disney Store. I would have loved seeing what they could have done with Gold McQueen. I would have loved seeing a version of their packaging for a gold vehicle. Heck, knowing Disney Store, they could have done gold... Um, who would it be? Sally or Mater? Not like Mattel, they just did McQueen. Maybe in the future, further down the line, they're going to release the Racing Reds Disney Store. I don't know. I mean, they released the mud racers um i think they also released the xrs rocket racers they haven't done drag racers surprisingly that's my favorite one that's my favorite line out of the bunch of random crap they released for that xrs line Ugh. thank goodness it seems it's over um they didn't do fireball beach racers which was a missed opportunity they didn't do um what else did they not do Disney Store didn't do the Thomasville Racing Legend series either, which was a shame. All right, these are loose now. Wow, I love that packaging though. You know, despite having a bubble used bottom for the cardboard, this looks nice. I love the look on those little name plates there. And I love the look of that road piece and that hot rod and logo right there is meant to look like it's popping out. And you got the background right there that says hot rotting on the on the light tower thing right there. And then you got your checkered board running down straight across right there with a lot of um, dirt printing to make it look like it's been dirty and a lot of cars have been racing here. But anyways, off to the side you go, my buddy. And here are the diecasts, the last ones we're taking a look at for the day. I'm going to start off with, well, let me put them in the order they are supposed to be in there we go danico lightning mcqueen fantastic first time i'm holding this one in my hands absolutely fantastic it doesn't get any better than this and to just show you all that mattel has really been doing the wrong shade for metallic blue this whole time for the danico one look at that this is a tomiko one or tomiko one and it's the same exact color. I really don't know why Mattel doesn't use this beautiful shade of baby blue for the metallic paint jobs of Danico McQueen. In my opinion, it's a huge missed opportunity because it just looks absolutely stunning. The orange on the rims right here for this one just are blowing me away as well. The contrast just clicks. That is Danico right there. The orange going around the lightning bolt, we've seen that before, but that just clicks so well and combines and matches with the rim's color. There's his engine. The insides are painted in blue now, whereas this one was painted in red. They are the same casting, the same expression. Um, you know, Dynaco Lightning McQueen is a Cars 1 thing, but this one is dope because it has the Cars 2 spoiler, so it's a you know, it's a little weird looking at first because you're, you're like, well, this never appeared in the movie. But here he is. And he looks really good. Um, if you were to feature this as a standard release, no metallic paint, none of these modifications, and just put this spoiler on there, it would be canon, in a sense, to the game Cars Fast as Lightning. Because in Cars Fast as Lightning, they have a identical paint job for McQueen, but he's got this spoiler right here and that is absolutely fantastic i love how disney store has done so many cars that just coincidentally fit into cars fast as lightning either they have that planned out with their you know uh their ideas and the board up there at disney or i don't know it was maybe just a coincidence but you can't tell me they didn't take some sort of inspiration from that game to make these i mean this just looks fantastic you got the bolt right there, the Danico logo right there. So you got more space here now in comparison to the king for that Danico text up there. Um, again, the gas cap is right there, but this time, surprisingly, it's only on one side. Whereas over here is, for some reason, black and on two sides. They fixed that here, which is great. Yeah, no doubt. This is one of my favorites. Um, really quickly though here is the drag racer so you can take a look let me know in the comments which one is your favorite mattel or disney store 
Uh, this for sure doesn't do it for me. I'm not a fan of this plastic. I mean, that's kind of cool how they pop up and down those little things, but I mean, those tires don't compare to those right there. Look how much higher up in the air he is in comparison to this one. This looks a lot more flat, like a pancake. And the spoiler is very similar to the one Fillmore has. I'm just noticing. Fillmore's is a lot thinner, but it's in a sense very similar. See, he's got the same stuff as Fillmore right there. So I'm guessing Fillmore is really the drag racer. Not the others. They're just supposed to be like snot rod, I guess. Like tuners, I guess. I don't know. Or hot rods. There you go. I mean, it's the name of the series. I do like, however, how these have that flame effect right there. That would have been kind of cool to see on here. But then again, these were pieces of plastic that were attached to the paint job right there. Or to the die cast. Or they have a um, cutting in the die cast metal. To make way for these things to click into place so you can't really admire the whole you see you can't admire the x on there for the logo over here you can but now you don't have the s i mean you like here without any of that flame stuff you can actually admire the whole printing of the vehicle and here you know these are ridiculously popping out a lot but it looks great fillmore right here in comparison to his standard release from the five packs of before He's pretty much the same, the same expression, nothing different. Just that he is now in a metallic paint job. Oh, what? Whoa! What the hell is this? Oh, it's broken off of this one. I didn't even notice. Well, I mean, I bought this used from eBay. What did I expect? Sheesh! What the hell is this? Looks so weird not a place like i get it it's the exhaust right but well <laughs> that's bizarre okay uh the wheels are having trouble moving yeah um great concept disney star just i think you executed it a, a little too poorly because the wheels don't roll all that well yeah, it's the license plate that just gets scratched up at the end of the day all right now chick hicks the man, the myth, the legend, now in a fantastic, beautiful, metallic, lime green, or lime or forest green, in between both, paint job. You can't get any better than this. Way better than this one, in my opinion. I mean, sheesh, this guy is... Yeah, he's really trying to impress McQueen, isn't he? Look at this. I mean, wow. Just the metallic paint he's got is fantastic. I... I'm loving this guy. Great, fantastic paint job. And the expression for the eyes seems to be a little bit different. Right here, his eyes at the very bottom seem to be a little bit cut off. And over here, they are not. So I guess they did a different expression for this guy, unless this is just a misprint. One of these two must be a misprint. I'm not sure. Actually, I just noticed they didn't paint in the green. That's why the bottom eyelids are not painted in. Bottom eyelid right there is painted in green. Over here, it's not painted in green, and it's painted in white. They just painted red across it. They used the same casting. It's a little lazy. looks a little weird. Not going to lie. But, hey, it's something different. I mean, you got to appreciate what you can get, right? Alrighty, so if I had to rank them from my favorite to my least favorites, let me see here. Favorite, 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 favorite. Uh... Uh, I really wish I had the Green Ramon and the Metallic Red McQueen to add them onto this list. But I want to just, you know, based off of what I see here. Alright, there we go. That's my list. Favorite to least favorite. Um, in terms of the paint jobs and the overall look of the vehicle. I know, like, you know, this is the same thing. Just metallic paint jobs. But I just, you know, I prefer the metallic one, to be honest. Over this one. Um, I prefer this one, this metallic one, way more than this one. Um, definitely prefer the Dynaco one over this one. But I do say if I had the metallic one of this one, it'd definitely be up here, around here in this top tier area. Same goes for the Green Ramon. i probably place those two that I don't have up here. And if I had Mater, <laughs> well, that legend deserves to go to the very top. He's the one who started all of this in Cars too. you know? I'm guessing that was a source of inspiration. But anyways, thank you all so much for watching. 
this unboxing i hope you guys enjoyed it despite being a lengthy one i just been wanting to review these guys for a while and it took me a couple of weeks to collect these off of listings off of ebay let me know again which one was your favorite and if you will be hunting for any of these at flea markets if you can find any or even on ebay piston cup productions signing out and i'll see you guys next time